Hey everyone, welcome back and let's write some more neat code today. Today let's solve minimum difference between highest and lowest of k scores. This is the easy problem from today's leak code contest, so we're given an array of nums. Each value in the array represents a student's score, that's not really super important, but we just want to pick k students from the array such that the difference between the highest of the scores and the lowest of the scores of those k that we actually choose is minimized. So the way they word this problem is, you know, it might sound confusing, but it's actually easier than you might think if you weren't able to solve it. Basically, we want to know that difference between the highest and the lowest, right? But we have to make sure that we choose k scores. You might think, okay, maybe a heap, maybe, you know, something crazy, but actually it's simple. You, we can just sort the input array, right? So if the, if the input array is in sorted order, for example, we take this, sort it, we get one, four, seven, and nine. Then, given these values, wouldn't it be easy just to do a sliding window of size k, right? As soon as I said that, maybe you kind of, you know, some light bulb went off in your head, right? Because doesn't that make sense? So we do a sliding window of size k, right? In this case, k is 2, so this is going to be our window size, right? We're going to look at these two elements. Okay, what's the difference between them? A 4 minus 1, that's 3, okay? That was one possibility, right? What's, what's another possibility we could do over here, right? 7 minus 4. That's three. Uh, go to the next spot. Nine minus seven. That's two. So the th this this is the window such that the difference is minimized, right? If we choose k scores, if we choose these two scores, the difference is minimized, right? So these are the scores we choose, but we don't care about that. What we actually want to return is that minimized difference, right? In this case, it's two, so we can return the value two, uh, which is exactly what they did here. If you weren't able to figure this problem out, let me just give you a little bit of the intuition. So let's just say we chose one score at random, right? Let's just say we chose seven. Now, what's the next score we would want to choose such that we minimize the difference between the highest and smallest score? Well, we're definitely not going to want to choose a score that's far away from seven in the sorted order, right? Why would we want to pick one when we could pick a closer score like four or seven, right? That's kind of the intuition why we want to sort it so that we know exactly what's close to seven, either on this side or what's close close to seven on this side. That's the intuition, but solving the problem once you know the sliding window technique is easy. Uh, the sorting is really the time complexity, uh, you know, the bottleneck, so it's gonna be n log n, the time complexity, and that's about it, because the sliding window algorithm is a linear time algorithm, so the overall time complexity is n log n. So now let's jump into the code. So you probably don't even need to see the code, but if you do, let me just show you how to do it. Of course, we're going to sort the input array. Uh, we're going to do a sliding window. If you've never done a sliding window before, uh, we just take two pointers. So in this case, we want the window to be size k. So the left pointer is going to be at zero at the beginning. The right pointer is going to be at k minus one because, of course, we have a zero indexed array. So if we want the window to be size k, this is how we set up the pointers. Uh, the result is initially we're just going to set it to the max po possible value. So let's just say float infinity at at least that's what we can do in Python. And we want to minimize this value. So now we're going to continue to just go through the entire input array. So basically continuing until our right pointer goes out of bounds, because of course the right pointer is going to go out of bounds first. And then we just want to calculate that difference. So we want to calculate, okay, what's the difference right now of our right pointer and our left pointer, right? So we can take nums of right minus nums of left. So we take this and we want to potentially update the result. We only want to update the result if this value is smaller than the result. So we can do that with the minimum function. We're going to assign the result to the minimum of itself and of this computation that we just did. So that's one thing. And of course, you don't want to get stuck in an infinite loop to you. So make sure to update your pointers. Left is going to be incremented by one. Right is also going to be incremented by one. After that, you know, we've basically gone through all possibilities. We, we will have the result in the result variable, and then we can go ahead and return it. I'll run it to make sure you make sure that it works, but okay, so I scroll down, look, it's accepted. You can't really see the runtime or anything, but you know, this is a pretty good solution. I don't know if you can actually solve this problem in linear time. If you can, definitely let me know in the comments, but I think this is good enough. So I hope this was helpful. If it was, please like and subscribe. It supports the channel a lot, and I'll hopefully see you pretty soon. Thanks for watching.